Hey guys, ASMG here. So I was lucky enough to pull the new Orihime, and she does come with a new Brave Battle skills, Persistence. So what happens is when she lands on one health, she's able to stay alive for a few seconds and potentially turn the tables. So I thought I'd test her out. I am third seat, not too crazy high. But let's have a look at her. So I did use the Soul Bomb Source to increase the 2 out of 5. Um, I only was lucky enough to pull her once. In terms of bonus effects, I have low stamina damage boost. So when I thought since she's at low health anyways, and she's gonna stay alive for a couple seconds, why not do the extra 35% damage? And then we got Peace Barrier. Always like to have Peace Barrier, cause in third seat, I do see people running with the barrier, star barrier. Um, you could potentially do a low stamina damage boost with this character as well, or go full NAD too. That's another thing I would like to try in another video. But I just wanna try with my own typical builds that I do for Brave Battles. So we got the Knuckle Dust at 30% attack, Inraku 30% attack, Chabby Spencer 30% attack, and in terms of links, these are links that we got here. Next character that we got is Yuha. Um, so he is 4 out of 5. And in terms of the equipment, we got Gold Chappy, uh, Normal Chappy, and Ishin Charm. And here are our links here. Uh, keep in mind, sadly, the only Gold Chappy I don't have is Tech. So it's kind of annoying, especially for an Orihime showcase. In terms of Old Man Yama, we are Max Transcended with um, Max Defense. I did want to go for Attack, but I stopped real wrong, to be honest. Wooden Sword, 30% attack in terms of accessories, Gold Chappy and Normal Chappy. And here are our links. We do have a Max Transcendent Grim Gel uh, as one of the links. So in terms of our actual um, stat total, we got 37,858. This was my old team that I used to use. It's about 38,663. But um, with Orihime, I think she's probably better than Sergeant, and if not a Sergeant Killer. But let's actually test the route. We do have a Sergeant here. Let's see how we go. I honestly think that this character could potentially be number one, um, just because she's human as well. I think that plays a big factor. There's no proper human killers. Oh wow, she took clear of that sergeant. Granted, it was 29,000 power level. But I do want to see that um, persistent in action. So I am going to verse a lot of different uh, power levels. So let's go with this one, 37,051. Very similar to our one. Potentially bring our Persistent skill in action. So it is a max transcendent Sarjin. Alright, debuff is applied. Alright, that Sarjin is tanky as hell. But to be honest, so is Marahima. I think she would have potentially died if it was 1v1. And potentially even lost with persistence. Let's see what else we got. Alright, let's go with this one 38,301. Uh, potentially she might go up against Ishin. Oh, she is. Okay. So we'll definitely see the persistent skill, I reckon. And see how effective it is. She's doing not bad, actually, against Ishin. Oh, here it is. And she killed Ishin. Who's max transcended. Power, you know, against tech. Although it doesn't have the killer, but we have the killer. And she killed him. I'm actually impressed. Um, let's go for this one. Let's put another issue and see how she does. Alright, this one's not max transcended. Yeah, to be honest, even if my um, Yamoto didn't jump in, I think she would have took care of him, to be honest. And again, this is without max transcended links. This is without the gold chappy as well. Um, who should we go for next? I want to go for... 51,000 power level. Uh, potentially we might lose. I don't mind losing, to be honest. Um, I just want to see how she goes. So, versus Kuro Ishiki, Tech versus Tech. He's a pretty max transcendent. Okay. Let's see how she goes. Alright, we did lose, but she did stand their ground against a max transcendent um, Kuro Ishiki with people jumping in towards the end as well. So if it was one on V1, uh, potentially could have killed him. Alright, let's see more Ishians, and then I'll jump into the Sergeant as well. I just want to see what kind of a mix she gets. But I think my Yamamoto does well against Yuha, and my Yuha does okay against my Yamamoto as so well. I've built him. Yeah, it's done with ease, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Her at full action with Captain Killer, Tech against Speed Sergeant. 
I am very, very impressed. Wow, he's already knocked out a half. What happened there? I think she got affected by status. To be honest, I think if Orihime had a heal on her soul bomb, she'd be so broken. But she could probably live to, to get the soul bomb as well through persistence and then heal back up. Although I'm not sure if an actual heal affects her coming back alive, to be honest. Um, I think that should be something that should be clarified. But Orihime vs Orihime. Let's see how we go. Looks like he's got a very similar build. Oh wow, I took a lot of damage there. Alright, Persistence. We're not doing the best against this team. Alright, so I think Chad's got Paralysis. And look, they, they won because of the Persistence. They literally won because of Persistence. So it can turn the tables. My, my uh, Mion mode is an absolute beast, to be honest. Alright, I do want to verse someone. Let's go with this one. 39,000. Uh, they got a Sargent as well. Should be up against Sargent. Alright, she just absolutely decimated that Sargent. I think, in terms of her, you know, doing crazy damage to start in the previous game or match, and then not doing any damage, I think she was on that status for sure. Alrighty, let's go for. Let's go for this one. Nearly 37k has both Sargent, Orihime, and Yama. So it will probably be my Yama against Orihime. So I want to see this battle as well. 42k health, so probably 3 out of 5, or 4 out of 5, in terms of Transcendence. Alright, didn't do too well against my Yamamoto, to be honest, although my Yamamoto is very tanky. To be honest, I think, um, another thing that could be very interesting with future Brave Battle characters is when they bring in more Persistence characters, and it will lead more likely to games having the Soul Bomb being used in the actual battle itself. I think that could kind of change the better as well. Especially when you got characters with soul bombs that have status effects. And then the other second thing to think about is, you know, back when, you know, Queen Yachuru, PvP Queen, used to have the heal as well and insta kill. It was a pretty toxic meta, although a fun at times. And they could bring that back potentially with uh, the persistent skill, to be honest. So it's something to look forward to. To be honest, I think this Orihime is definitely top meta character. Um, number one, if not number two. Uh, in terms of the, the tier list. Amazing, amazing character. And I will try other builds with this character um, as a test. I do want to do low damage stamina build and then also a full nad build as well. It kind of sucks I don't have a green chappy, but regardless, I do want to test it. However, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Souls content. Um, also, I want to leave a link um, in the comments below uh, for my second YouTube channel. If you can please give that a... Um, a subscribe and a follow It'd be absolutely amazing thanks for the support and also guys happy new year and good luck if you haven't already summoned or going to continue summoning and enjoy peace